Um, I tried, but you know, um, I, you're gonna have to help remind me. Oh yeah, this is about FOIA. Yeah, um, FOIA, FOIA. Um, in general, about like I mean, so you talked to Dundee, right? About that like hostage situation, right? Um, yes, and, and forgive me because I deal with imagine a lot a lot yeah so there's a lot of things I'm that i'm on three different cities trust me i'm really well aware of oh, uh, oh no. yeah. okay i didn't I, even, <laughs> I didn't mean just that i mean right now i have a very big cabinet we've got like uh, so many different like um projects going at once so it's kind of like i like to delegate you know what i'm saying so all these things are happening and then this is happening it's kind of you get what I'm saying. Um, I do. So, I do. Um, lots of stuff going on. Lots of moving parts. Yeah. One hundred percent. It's almost um, like I've been there. Yeah. Very true. And uh, look, I'm, I'm going to say this again. I um, look, my my problem with y'all, you and Max, kind of came came back to the LSC. I think fucking Juno is a fucking stupid bitch, and I wish that someone found her, chopped the fucking head off, and dumped the body somewhere that couldn't be found. But that's mostly because of. 60 firings that came out of it but outside of that i can't help but having spent the last um she knows the worst the last time i saw her she spit in my face yeah yeah i'm not like, i'm not she's surprised. fucking ratchet she is she's she's one of these fucking cry baby motherfuckers that you know let their small incidents run their entire life i don't know how people can do that you know what i mean like, I don't even give a shit about things, like, a couple days later, and then you go fucking find out people, are, like, holding fucking grudges for God knows how long. Like, how do you live with yourself? You know what I mean? If you're in that much of depression. Um, uh, I mean, I... I <clears throat> some people were very surprised that I have, uh... Let's just say I've forgiven people who have wronged me, but, like, you don't forgive for, for other people. You forgive for yourself. So that you don't hold on to that hatred, right? That poison. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like me. I don't know about if you know about me. And um, there's a lot of people I got shit like that. Now there's some of my best friends. But... So. Damn. Um. Okay. So, boying things, yeah. right? Um. I texted Angel. Literally no response. I don't think she checks her texts. So if I don't like wake up when she's awake, I can't catch her to discuss my issues with Boya. That's a problem. Um, I agree. Uh, okay. And then I'm where are the other like, judges? True. Where, where, then where the fuck are the other judges, right? Yep. There's Weiss. Um, he's taking so many fucking cases. I'm actually really worried he's going to burn out way too fast. Just having been there, done that, I'm really worried about him. He, if he keeps up the pace he's at, he's going to be burned out within three months. Mm-hmm then what happens to the docket then right um so the FOIA legislation seems like it is not written with lawyers in mind I've had like constant cops oh, just yeah. not wanting to provide it to me when, even though like in my opinion they should they should be able to especially if it's for a report like that's already been shared with me right in a bench trial why would you have to wait and check with somebody else and give me and wait three fucking days to provide me the exported one so I can get it on the docket for my civil case? That seems like they're intentionally giving me the runaround to attempt to delay a civil litigation action. They are. So, Shaban, um, you know my participation in July third was because of the FOIA shit. Uh, to be clear, when I say participation. Okay, I was only vocal, right? And when I say July 3rd, I mean the Constitution shit, not the fucking dumbassery that took place. Like, you know, the okay, good. running into the courthouse. If anything... I don't actually, know, you know what, what, your, what your exact involvement was, so that's good to I mean, know. I'll tell you. I was on the phone with Bailey talking about gun license reform. And, uh, and um, he told me, I'm like, okay, cool. We can get this sorted. Maybe, we, like, when do you think we can get it in? And he goes, well, I plan on, you know, in a deep voice. I plan on doing it tonight as long as I stay alive. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, he goes, have you looked at Twata? Man, Twata had a fucking post, and apparently they were going to ransack the courthouse. So after the thing, I went, 
over there and I saw a bunch of people. So I got up onto the hospital rooftop. They took out mm -hmm. a camera to watch from a distance. So you have people inside shooting. Then he had a bunch of people with cam cameras on the outside, not giving a fuck if a bullet hits them. And uh, that's when, you know, the ass chief at the time came and saw me. Then I made my way over to the top of the garage outside of Mission Row PD, where they're all going, documenting everything on fo uh, on, on video. And um, that I, I got a call from Soze. And he wanted me to help do the negotiations. Mm -hmm. You ready for this? The PD ready. didn't want to negotiate. While surrounded. With like five officers on duty. Wow. And, and I'm not talking about like negotiation, like free passage. It was the judges and Soze that wanted to tell the entire city we like it has already been decided that there's going to be constitutional change and then people was like ah eh, how do we do this i'm like just stop they're willing to stop so i i don't know what to tell you you know what i mean when the judges told me to ask to do this i still got looked into over the matter i'm like okay cool I got it. So like Anyways. Bailey or like Angel and Adams? Uh Bailey, Angel, Soze. Wait, who is it on the phone call? I talked to Bailey. No, in no, that no. One. I mean like um that like so that the judges wanted to just announce that the constitution had been remade or whatever. Mm -hmm. Which judges? Oh, Angel, Bailey, and Adams. Yeah. Okay, it was those three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um interesting. I couldn't I remember honest, if I thought, Adams was there, but yeah. I thought July third was a false flag event. I'm gonna be mm -hmm. honest. I totally thought it was a false flag and a good one, a good one. No. Um, I know because I racked my brains trying to plan a false flag event for months and I can never do it. The city is too stupid for a false flag. If you did a false flag, everyone know it'd be you. You disagree? Um, <laughs> no, I don't actually, <laughs> I don't, I don't, yeah. the city might be too stupid for a false flag. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, um, yeah, yeah, that's funny. Um, I, but I did, I did, I thought it was a false flag event. I just, I wanted to be transparent. Yeah. No, understandable. No, every, everything was actually extremely well documented. How a lot of elements of the police department still don't know to this day when they were verbally told everything you know how bad it was is that after the whole constitutional thing people were saying that so and so did this for the criminals that wasn't the case everyone in attendance the police were invited to a me the meeting they for some reason completely were like oh whoa cool new constitution skip like they, it was at the at the news center it was judges it was um fucking so was it. it was like like literally just a big circle and then they were told after the fact a bunch of things but they forgot it all i i don't understand like it's uh anyways but going to the foyer right um that was my whole involvement in it and it took me so after that meeting you and i had where crane walked in that my next meeting with crane did not go well he had the audacity to ask me and tell me or mansplain to me or whatever the fuck phraseologies you want to use is that this is unnecessary it's obvious what should already be done if people are not giving the FOIA when it's ready they should do it anyways it's written in there the three lines that Moulton wrote he's talking about and I'm like brother my brother in in whatever fucking you know spiritual entity you believe in you should know by now that just because you think something to be true doesn't mean everyone's gonna read your fucking mind and who are you supposed to go to when someone doesn't do it according to your like belief methodology, you know what i mean right? your yeah, methodology totally. mm -hmm. like, what do you do who do you complain you can't just be like well it's not supposed to work that way well like who the fuck is gonna check it he didn't get it he's like none of this this is a waste of time i'm like fucking bullshit at the end of it, 
after end of that fucking headache and it got written i noticed the the problem that you're falling into is that i was like what they they said that once you formally request it they need three days and i'm like motherfuckers how do you need three days and not after the request and not three days after the incident because you're inherently baking in a clause and saying the police department does not need to be recording their statements within a day or two of the incident which means you're relying on their memory not even outside of this city do people remember events uh, appropriately days later this fucking like so much uh studies on this so now you're saying hey you know if you go 25 days later they can go in there and try to recall what happened 25 days ago you, you what the fuck anyways sorry i'm getting worked up now no i agree with you completely i i absolutely do like i think there's like a huge issue with that like if the report is finished there's only one reason why i should not get be able to get a report immediately and that's if it's part of an active investigation right pretty much generally there it protects it. the pd or if it needs to have something redacted in it yep. okay that's it those are those two things that's it they shouldn't be touching it after the fact and the fact that i don't know if this was just their recanting like uh, like them like like uh, not recanting them like recounting events right uh, whenever uh, from from the foia yeah. because they didn't actually complete the report I, I have no way of knowing that i just have to assume good faith on the officer's part right siobhan there is no good faith that's the problem i mean when i get denied a fucking foia on a report that i because they have to check if it's approved i'm like it's already been shared with me it's insane let you let me let me they just don't want to do the work they literally just don't want to do the work yes. they just want someone else to do it it's lazy yes it is, it is lazy. thank you yes Okay, so in the, in the beginning of the New Republic started, right before there was a mayor, way back in December, okay, um, I needed to FOIA report for an appeal, okay, right? Um, cops told me that they couldn't do that. I had to get a fucking judge to come down to the cells. Yeah. To tell them to fucking release the report. Yeah. In the old Republic, cops would do this shit sometimes, and I had to come down as a judge down yeah. to the cells to tell them i'm not gonna fucking keep coming down here to tell you to do your job release the foia report oh. asshole look um it's been yeah. like a, the laziness component has been a thing forever it has been a thing forever and i think that's because there's not really an incentive for them to not be lazy right correct there's no positive or negative Moogie, thank you for the eight months on this Let's go, Nino. I, I love Nino Sark. Want to go? I am gonna go even further and say it is beyond lazy now. It is malicious, and let me give you my argument for this. Is that okay? So that flies against Alcum's razor, but I'm willing to hear. So, have you seen the Tilly Simcod case? Oh, I did. That's fucking crazy. Yep. By the way. That's nuts. I saw that on the docket. I was originally approached to be the lawyer, but I already knew Tilly well enough that I did not want to take on the case for ethical reasons. Um, it not a good look. It's just not how I operate. Um, and so Kit took it on. It took a collective six weeks before the marshal saved the day. Bullshit, by the way. I'm glad they did it. But they did like it was Kit pushing it. Even Tilly got bored of the whole six week wait. Kit pushed it. Now all of a sudden That's they too get shot. It's too long. Now in now they ended up now mind you, I started warming up to Rika. It's like I said, I forgive if you're willing to like you know what I mean? Like I I just don't like I, I don't want to live in a world where I'm just like Fucking, you know, you get what I'm saying. I had a lot of reasons not to like Riker. I started warming up to the guy. To give you perspective. Where he started warming up to the things I was pointing out were problematic with the police department from a PD to civilian um, aspect, right? I strongly believe that the police work for the people, not the other way around, right? And that the, the, the way that you bridge, bridge the gap 
that is huge right now is that you need them to trust you and that that you don't just assume guilt or presence but just be in there right but anyways this guy after all of this the moment they heard that there was action being taken the report was turned into an active investigation which no. a lot yeah which no. prevented the foia from being grabbed this was then um pointed out to members of command and they didn't do anything about it and now that this court case is happening it is while it's good that it's happening it is not the justice that this case deserves because inherently it wasn't slack slacks fucked up Riker fucked up but all of the command who is still command today allowed it to happen because anybody that is in a position of power that understands that corruption is taking place under their leadership if they ignore it and just put the blame on the people down below they are equally as culpable and i'm talking about from an ethical perspective fuck the legisl legislative bullshit because now that shit's starting to turn into an excuse our morality is not based on law law is generated from places of morality what whatever regardless of where, where, where it well, derives progressive from. science are supposed to be like a reflection of society's moral values right yes and unfortunately it's gotten so bad and siobhan as we talk more about these topics and you see what i've been facing you'll start to see what i mean by this is i feel I'm, like you're facing a lot of the things that we face to be honest with you nino i i believe that i you know i have been saying over the last like two weeks i'm like maybe this is why max did this maybe not the way that i would have done it but i can at least understand the why why yeah the why i was gonna say the same thing right the application like the actual why behind yeah. things we're like oh maybe they weren't that shit crazy maybe maybe things you know really did need a resolution yeah no you know, 1, I don't have a problem disagreeing with people, but like we also have to at least fundamentally agree on like basic core values, right? Like at least we can disagree on how to get to a place, but we can like both want the same things, right? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yes. Like agree. we can both uh, want what's good for the city. We can disagree on how to get there. So, like, here's the thing. Principally, I didn't agree with a standing mayor being the commissioner because it's a squishing of the executive branch with the you know it's all still executive it's it's, it, it, it's yeah, less but, of an abomination than the fucking marshals you know an executive branch of the judicial well, the marshals branch. are a million times worse than a anything that could have ever been that is a yes. fucking needs to be lobotomized i i couldn't agree more i quite literally believe that they're an abomination before the lord you know what the phone call they're inherently corrupt to oh, be honest. Uh, yes exactly and it's i'm hearing fucking power. bullshit of like well we're allowed to because of x y and z and i'm just like are you fucking crack like and, oh it's not corrupt because of this law bitch that is not what corruption co derives from it doesn't derive from that shit if if corruption was solely derived from legislation then you could literally say that no government ever in existence has ever done anything wrong. That like Mao, right? Or like Stalin or like whatever is like perfectly cool because legally they were allowed to do it. Like what? <laughs> like it doesn't- it, It's circular it, logic. It's circular right? logic. I'm allowed yeah. to because it says so, but it, it says so because we want to be allowed to right rather than like an actual the logical backing i mean just the very fact to me right is that the constitution itself the constitution itself you know right gives the department of justice the ability to the the phrase the wording is so fucking obnoxious to enforce the law the judiciary should not be in charge with enforcing the law that is the executive and law enforcement's job right well I feel like yeah this is a basic civics lesson but um uh i mean i'm sure you know this right but like the judiciary should be interpreting the law yes. not law enforcement 
They should not ensure the enforcement of laws. They are the interpretation of laws about whether or not someone is found guilty based on their interpretation of the law and the facts. Instead, it gave them the Constitution itself. It gives them not just the legislative authority, but executive. So the judicial, right, the Department of Justice has judicial authority, legislative authority, and executive authority. So, yeah, I and and you know, tell me how that's not fucking evil. Oh, it is. But but even if I were to go down the presumption of, look, it's a way how you interpret what the words mean, right? And you get into the whole like legislate uh, uh, um, constitutional uh, law aspect of things, right? Yeah, That's yeah, no, why totally. there no are. Power, yeah, exactly. And why the Supreme Court has multiple seats and why sometimes they lean one way or another way, right? Okay, right. I don't want to use the most like recent example because it's, you know. Reasons? Like, I mean, I don't hate that, but if, if you don't want to, that's well, fine. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. I'm, but well, Roe versus I'm a big Wade, fan of the Daily right? Show. <laughs> right? Like shit can roll either way. You don't know it because guess who puts them in place? It's because even the Supreme Court justices have their own moralities, political beliefs, etc., etc. Imagine, imagine you had like Lincoln who was like, well, guys, we can't do anything here according to the Constitution. You get what I'm saying? That's why amendments exist, right? Well, it's also why we've had constitutional, like in, in the United States, right? There's been constitutional crises when the executive has decided to not enforce the judiciary. I think it was uh, President Andrew Jackson who said like, John Marshall has made his decision. Now let us see him enforce it. In other words, get fucked, bitch. I'm not doing what you tell me. Yeah, yep. I, I think um, that's sort of the vibe that unfortunately has been out there, which is, well, fuck morality, fuck ethics, fuck. Uh, I don't know if you've seen any of Moose Knuckles articles, but that man's been cooking. Yeah, I have read them. They're pretty good. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, you know, I fully expect it to go on deaf ears because we're talking like fucking, you know, anyways. Um, Without going too deep into the rabbit hole, that was my original problem with the with the with the FOIA legislation. But I was cooked, right? Like it was fighting for FOIA for thirty days straight, right? And feeling like I'm screaming into a wall, and there was just non-concern. So I was willing to take what I could get, and knowing full well that that battle needed to be fought again. And I think, principally, between the Rikers court case and the recent incident with Dundee, I think that in and of itself should require a lead to a uh, legislative review. 100%. Um, it, it, it needs to be. I, I agree fully. Just even like the fucking time frame. Oh, that was reading. That was weird. Um, yeah, it was. It was thundering just right, now. That was, that, was, that was crazy. Yeah. Just a little minutia shower yeah and um, right when i calm down it like stops that's so funny <laughs> uh, um i think there should be some sort of legislative audit review of FOIA. i think that the current process is well this is the hard part you know right okay um who passed that like who passed that legislation right the justices who review legislation you submit for constitutionality the justices if it goes to legislative audit review the justices why would they change their opinion from last time if you have a part a problem with the department of justice and want to sue them who oversees that court case the justices right like they are literally judge jury executioner uh and also the mailman and also a processor they're everything Yeah. You ready for the latest tea? Yes. I have to... Oh, I can't tell you. Okay, what if I assigned a retainer so that we're sworn to secrecy because you know I would never risk my bar license? Okay. Yeah, you want privilege so I don't <laughs> risk a bar? That's yeah. perfect. All right, let's do it. Oh, what's your seat ID? Uh, it is... Give me a second. 
um one one six six and i do need some uh might need some legal representation um given this uh may directly affect a department i look over okay um retainer b um i'm gonna just leave that blank for now and i'll just put tbd okay well how about five grand for now all right first all right all right there you go all right wow you just kept that on you okay i'm gonna put that 54. okay okay it should be shared in the contracts of boulder and the documents app on your phone Um, uh, appoint Siobhan as my legal counsel in civil, criminal, and other relevant myself uh, and listen. Wait, LS Customs? Wait, is that still there? Yeah. Somewhere in that retainer? Oh, I didn't sign I it just yet. Copy Okay, I just copy pasted from thanks. I copy pasted from another one, and I should have changed oh. that template. I did not change everything. Does it say LS Customs? Holy shit! In here? How, yeah, it does. How old is this? No, that's not it. There should be retainer dash you know Shava CID eleven six six. That that oh. one from LS Customs is from back in January. Yeah, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Wait, was mm -hmm. I? Did I retain you? Uh huh. Oh, see, I don't. It's so long ago. It was really long ago. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait, where? I don't. It's showing. Oh, I see it. Okay. Um, okay, easy. Okay, cool. Um, all right, there we go. I see you signed a few seconds ago. Cool. Yeah, that's right. I forgot I did the LS Custom shit. It's because we were looking at a class action against mary oh mary yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. um all right yep. um i think we ended up like breaking the password to like them locking the fucking computer or whatever uh turns out the password was hunter 12. jesus christ that that's I an know. old meme Security. isn't it it is an old meme. Security at Mosley's, I swear. Look, um, the marshals came into Mich in the LSPD today, the meeting, and apparently have stated that this is the phone call I got. So I'm, this is going to be semi chopped up. Okay. Because I didn't want to hear it right now, so it didn't interfere with this conversation. Oh my God. Okay. That. that you can get it's illegal to look okay have you seen do you know who sky Fay is i do apparently there's a document that was posted around stating like with like her text messages that were dumb mm -hmm. and like a note so it's like a note and then there's a link and that link leads to like her text messages and they're saying that if you look at that document as a cop you could get fired and it's illegal and so now i'm just like so confused obviously i'm gonna get figure out exactly what this is but even a, like even if this is remotely like real right 
I'm still confused because why would the marshals say that? What leg are they standing on? I'm so fucking mind boggled. Now, I heard an argument like this when I originally heard about this document like five weeks ago. Um, and it was under the precept of the privacy clause in the constitution, but it's such a, let's say, bastardized take as to what privacy is. Uh, do you want my honest opinion? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, once something has become publicly available, yes. when something's been leaked or released to the public, mm -hmm. right? I understand that it could have been private, right? Information. It is private information, right? Totally get that. And from like, but we talked earlier, right? From an ethical standpoint, should officers look through one of their coworkers, you know, leaked info? Probably not. Um, is there like legal ramifications for that? No, no. Yeah. I, I shouldn't be prosecuted if I look at fucking WikiLeaks. You know what I'm saying? Ex or Twitter. Or whatever. Or whatever. No, no yeah. that's like some, that is, that, 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 that is a little bit thought police to me, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, but do I think that they, do I think that officers, like, should no no they, they probably shouldn't they should they should show some respect right to their to their co-workers for lack of a better phrase um and because as, as someone whose private info has been shared out there you know my texts have been released on twitter it feels bad having yeah. your private conversations released out of context where people can you know draw their own conclusions um but did I have the right to sue everybody who read my texts? Es especially if there was privileged mm. texts that got posted out there. If everybody read that privileged information, are they now in quote unquote possession of True. privileged information? True. They all, should they all be sued because they gained it illegally, right? No, they shouldn't. Whoever was responsible, right? Like the publisher, right? That's why like Julian Assange just had that plea deal, right? For WikiLeaks. Yeah. Should a publisher be held responsible? That's a different question. Right. But for people reading things um, of that nature, no. It's no. Uh... I find it weird. You know, anybody who wants to like. Let's even ignore it for like a second. sounds like they're trying to ban a book. You know? Yes, agree. Sounds like some book banning it, shit. I, 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 but there's another aspect of this, right? Why would they be mentioning this directly to a series of officers? What they're now firing directly, right? Yeah, that, look, imagine the stir that must have caused. Imagine criminals hear that. Oh God. Hey, Siobhan. Oh my God! There's a oh, there it is. There's a piece of paper with the the text on it. <laughs> like what? It's, oh, now, 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 oh, you viewed it. I saw you. Oh look at my it. God! Now, now I'm gonna sue you. It's so unlike. There's no like. It's just like. It, it it. If I told you that there's been many of these moments where I'm just like, you know what it reminds me of? It's kind of like. You ever met someone that like read something out of a like I don't know they googled an article, and then all of a sudden they think they're like a fucking expert on it, and they go around and you mean they have a bunch of armchair lawyers who don't actually know the fucking law because they haven't done it as long as you or I have. Yeah, I mean, listen, even God I, look, forbid they don't even have a bar license; they're just cops, and they think because they uphold the law, even though um, they're expected to do that after a you know one to two day academy. Meanwhile, it took most lawyers a lot longer than that to get their mm, bar licenses true. to prove that we actually knew it well right? but but even even then i like i'll tell you i don't even fucking know my i i don't know a lot of shit you know what i mean i'm just really good at making arguments 
most of my court cases i just go on off like basic logic you know what i mean fuck what the law says most of it's you know what i'm saying but like even then at least if either of us let's say there was an area of law we didn't understand right we just looked at it for the first time you know do you think we're gonna go and start like hey we read something let's go tell everyone what they're not allowed to do now all of a sudden like as as having just looked at something that's what's taking place it's no, like a first no, blush my, look no. at something and just like fucking going around and making huge i don't know leaps of leaps of that's crazy i i don't know it's just it's just it hurts my head jesus yeah just huge, just huge leaps of logic based on uh feelings i mean if i read something right like that <laughs> you know what i would do is i would go get you know feedback from other legal minds to make sure that my understanding is correct right yeah that's what i would do i would have a big discussion with a bunch of different people um see if there's anybody i know who might be more of an expert get their interest like feedback go back to read it and then you know see if there's something to be gleaned from there i definitely yeah. wouldn't go run around based on like cherry picked fucking evidence that's crazy um yeah did you feel like you keep seeing this happen oh yeah my my last three months have been like telling people that you know it, it it's been a lot of this it's uh nothing makes any sense old pd dilemma has been something else um yeah. my my pd dilemma has been like you know you put the fucking boat in the water and you kind of push it forward and then hope it's good and then you get like an update like a week later and it's like burning jesus yeah sometimes i i think i gotta have a more hands-on approach but i don't think i can legally do it right now the law or mayors is we can you know what's clear to me i'll tell you why i hesitate mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you asked me about the question about commissioner the other day, and hmm? right when you asked me about that, I was one. I mean, I figured, I'll be honest, that the next mayor would run into the same problem we did. Yeah, when, they're so fucking. When you called me and you asked me about mm. that, you know, it just it. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but just it, no, it, no, go ahead. Just, I smiled. I smiled. I smiled. I'm, I'm gonna be very yeah. transparent. I immediately grinned like a fucking idiot when you asked me that. I'm like, no. hmm, all right, I was right. I. It is still a problem. I think it, it might even be worse. How so? Um, here is the story from my POV. Cornwood spent months trying to create little Alamo PD. Finally, name? it got greenlit. It was a way to get people up up north, which I think is good for everybody. It got put in place. He got scamazed out of winning right it is what it is but what has now bcso has now become the scuff troopers they even before my mayorship scooped up so much of their command that lspd became lifeless nobody put a stop to it it was just allowed there was no forethought as to what is gonna this gonna do to the organizations um i mean max had frozen transfers Oh, it got unlocked. I don't know what happened. Oh, I don't know. They must have, I, uh, they must have somehow unfrozen, it because yeah. so many went over even before I became mayor, as far as I'm aware. Because I remember hearing I about this third, while yeah. I was running. Like, and mm -hmm. I was just like, I'd ask it too, like, don't you? Because they'd be like, oh my god, we got this. Issue. I'm like, why are people just allowed to go over there? Why wouldn't they build from the ground up? Because if you sip, because it's kind of like if there was like a, like a parent company and a sister company right and that sister company got spun off you don't start mm -hmm. taking the talent all the executives from the parent company and stop putting it into the sister company no you have to breathe it up otherwise the parent company is going to die and it's the one that is producing the money right and and that's effectively what happened and what made it worse is that it keeps happening and um like uh you know i've kind of sat back and kind of watched this unfold and um there's two things that happened by the way shaman over the past four weeks okay 
is there was an implicit checks and balance between the mayor and the associated department and that association was based on fines that came back to the county and the pd so for example if someone got arrested down here mm-hmm. uh, the the county would get money from that arrest we actually don't benefit from the pd existing what it doesn't do go back if if someone gets arrested so the county doesn't fine? make money who makes money from the fine then they get it in their own account wait who the separate pds the pd just gets the fine yeah so paying for do they get the whole thing they get 25 percent. 20 who gets the other 75 the oj but but i think that's more like it's like a black hole but you get what i mean there right is that and keep in mind shaman i actually recommended this weeks ago like back up to the feds but um that recommendation is more like it trickles from the mayor's budget and then they divide it up how they want right to buy what they need but the problem is that the, the level went so much to one side that inherently there is no objective reason for any sitting mayor to actually have a successful well, by whatever metric police department under their helm the people don't benefit from it either unless you make the obtuse argument that local lives matter and money isn't insured by the government you get what i'm saying yeah so uh so i've kind of just like set the fucking thing going but these guys don't give a shit it doesn't matter if it's lspd or bcso it's a fucking clusterfuck oh god does sound like a fucking nightmare there is a fantasy the these individuals are living where they do not believe this is 200 plus hours of interviews over that i'm talking about right i'm not pulling this out of my ass they do not care about the public there's very few that mention it they do not understand the principle that yeah yeah y- that not everyone in the city is a criminal and they don't understand the principle that people might turn their lives around and they've done their time in, in, in jail so when you see certain things like this foyer thing happening or justifications of my michael one of my guys in my cabinet got shot up for retrieving his own vehicle by a police officer and then was told get the fuck out of here and then they didn't give him their badge number this man That's is the cleanest they have to identify themselves yep that's what we're living in this guy is you're never gonna get a more civilian civilian than michael to give you an idea this guy you know he you, you're gonna like him he's uh let's just say he's um you know he does a lot of politics beyond just los santos <laughs> you should hear him about ethics you have met him i would I would I would love to meet him. I don't yeah. think I've met him. Michael what? Uh Michael uh mm, Michael Rosero, I believe. Okay, no, I can't say if uh I met him. Yeah. He's around mostly in the morning. Oh, God. I'm not trying to wake up earlier. We'll see. But anyways, I, I bring this up like uh in that I have put these guys so I don't give a fuck about PD at this point. I really don't. I do, but I don't. Does that make sense? I, I either got to focus on the people of Los Santos or their fucking drama that happens every fucking day. Yeah, I mean, look. And this, and now the Marshall thing on top like of shit it. For so long though, Nino. Okay, like I remember in the Old Republic, being very frustrated as a judge at times um, because I would have civilians, people I knew to be true civilians, okay, coming to me and saying that, you know, they hated the cops too. 
Why? Because the cops treated civilians as people who had, what was that one of them said? Future criminals. Future criminals. Mm. You know fuck that is? That's their interactions with yeah. the public. Right? And I've seen that in the New Republic. I've seen the same thing. I'm seeing the same shit where they are treating people as guilty before innocent. I'm pretty sure it's worse. Maybe you have a point. Maybe it isn't ignorance, you know, Maybe, or like the laziness, ignorance, whatever. Maybe it is malicious. Because there seems to be like a pattern there, you know, a pattern of neglect. I think it's out of ignorance. I don't think it's like it's. I mean, there's the mo like maliciousness in the sense that a reasonable person when put in that situ it's it's the uh i love the reasonable stanford, person standard yes yeah and it's 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 a stanford what is it? a stanford uh prison, uh, experiment? prison experiment on crack mm -hmm. is you give them a gun and badge you give them all this power and then they don't realize what they're doing at a certain point they really don't so i mean i i feel like i haven't had a cell rep that didn't include a civil rights violation like that's gonna have civil litigation now on the docket for like a week you know how can you there's, there's no all bad. these barriers in the way to prevent it from going to court let alone the way the contesting works I had to wait 16 days to get business shit passed. You know, people can cont contest in San Andreas and you're not going to know who and what the reason is. No arbitration. It's really stupid. It's really actually dumb. The fact that there's no way to know why something is being contested yeah. is bad for everybody. It is. There, there's like a fundamental lack of transparency in the system. Well, the, and the problem is that unfortunately every fucking, you know, fucking, you know, dented brain I fucking talk to I get really mad when I talk about this by the way if it sounds like it because it's so frustrating is it gets chopped off as well you're just mad because you're affected it's like if I cared about this shit I wouldn't have been mad to begin with I can I there's other shit I could be doing you know what I mean mm -hmm. I don't need to mm -hmm. do this it's just totally. like watching people drink fucking force feeding poison to everybody else right so um it's fucked, up. it's fucked up i really think you should uh i think we should work together shaban i'm gonna shoot straight um okay um and... i feel like we align on a lot of things you know yeah to be honest with you I don't well, know yeah if we've known each other for a minute or what um here's the thing you know i can never be in a room with bill mace well you want him gone uh, I can't work with him. I'm not gonna tell you how to run your cabinet. I would never presume to tell you yeah. how to run your cabinet. I just well, cannot I'm a, work I'm with that. I'm a businessman, so tell me what you're offering. Uh, you just want a different room, or you want him out of the cabinet? I mean, like, I don't want to look at his face ever. All right, we can do that. He's banned okay. from being around you. Okay. Um. Great. Banned from my presence. Great. Okay. okay um thank you for understanding yeah not a problem here's uh, the thing that's, i that's can tell like you want the city to move forward right i do i do um, i want what's best for the city i want what's best for the people and and that's that's us you know being resolution oriented instead of playing stupid blame game nonsense yeah um as for like a cabinet position, I got to play a little bit of politics. You obviously got some baggage. Um, so let me work that. Um, but okay. quite frankly, it's going to take a while, but I'm at that stage where I don't really give a fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So levels of a government employee. Are you just, um, are you, I think you might be alt level four then, which is I'm just doing what I want because you fucks are annoying. Is that where you're at? 
Uh, no. Uh, I've gotten most people to understand things. Look, uh, look, I've been called, well, for whatever it means, a lot of things, right? But one thing I'm good at is getting people to understand why things are necessary, right? And that just takes a little bit of time. So I got to make sure my constituents across the board, of which I've got many, um, understand the decision I'm making. And I'll probably go from a way of what, who do you, what do you think of this? This is why I want to do it. Is there going to be a problem? And give me an objective reason why. And if they can't, I'm going to argue back and, you know, the next step beyond that is just going to, you get what I'm saying? I got to make sure these totally. guys are on board. I understand. You have to, so. you got to do some things that you got to do. Um, I, I got to... I gotta, you know, probably do something not too dissimilar. Um, can I ask you, like, what are your what are your end goals for your mayorship? You know, like, like, do you, do, what do you want to do with? I want businesses to thrive, and I want civil rights to be at the forefront, and that's what we've been battling. So those are the focuses of your administration. Mm -hmm. I don't really see any other thing that um, necessarily. Uh, is a bigger problem, but that's not to say if another big problem kind of comes in while I focus, I wouldn't handle it. At one point, getting a strong LSPD was a focus, but there's no way to deal with that unless, um, you know, there's no way to deal with that unless it becomes your entire mayor term, because that PD's fucked. I'm going to tell you this. I'm. How do you feel about Soze? Uh. Honestly. Soze was in the room when I was tortured. Okay. How do you feel about him today? I never had a conversation with him after the fact. You need someone like Soze to get into that department. Doesn't even need to be Soze. And actually fucking stick a gun up some asses. And so I'm just shooting straight, Javon. But I mean, right I, now, I, do, do I think they need someone to light a fire? Yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. There needs to be someone to rally the troops and light a fire. 100%. Do I, what is my personal opinion, positive enough about Soze to think that he is the right person for that? Hmm. You know, probably not. But I will admit to you straight up that, you know, I do have a slight, I do have a slight bias, but I think I have a decent reason for it you know um i'm very happy to you know move on from a lot of things and not hold the grudge you know but i do i do demand like some basic common decency and some basic common respect i agree who if let's say today you had to pick a chief who would it be God, you know, there's like, there's no one. There's no one right now. Yep. I would, you want to know who I would pick? Life. You know my truth? You want to know what yeah. I would pick right now? Um, get Jenny Hall to come out of retirement. I actually thought exactly that. It's funny you say that. That's what I was thinking earlier today. Jenny was Max's other pick for commissioner. Really? Uh huh. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. But. I don't know if that's ever going to happen from what I understand. She's Jenny motherfucking but, ho. She's incredible. You know, when she was first asked it, about not, whether or not she'd do it, she said yes. Yeah. I, it's last I heard that uh, there was no interest there. But I could be wrong, right? This was second, you know. But the reason, the reason I, I brought that question up is to kind of set the tone of how bad shit is right because mm -hmm. you go back a year two years three years four years yep. you could probably pick a bunch of names out of a hat and you'd probably be okay today who the fuck is it right i don't know i mean the the most competent like the only time i've ever seen this pd up good was when max was commissioner mm. He was damn good at it. 
And, I don't expect um, chat to follow my conversation, by the way. He ended up in that role was because, you know, after about the same amount of you as you, about 200 hours of interviews. Really? Who else was there? Yeah. Yeah. I had 50 pages of single space size, like size 10 font notes, you know, of interviews with like almost every person in the P fucking PD. I'd be happy to share those with you sometime. It actually would probably be an interesting read for you. Um, but, it would be, uh, it, I'm just like, it actually, part of me actually thinks um, that <laughs> this is going to sound fucking stupid, but there was a point in time where like maybe a civilian needs to be the fucking chief give me your thoughts why because they may have a brain <laughs> well, okay not I'll entirely you, so because so, they haven't been drinking that pd kool-aid so deeply. yes well exactly because <clears throat> there's a concept in um so <clears throat> if a corporation uh, let's take Intel, for example, right? Uh, it's being run by a guy named uh, Galaga. He used to run VMware. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Weirdly, might have met him. Continue. So, Galaga... Wait, you used to work for VMware? Uh, I went to, like, four different VM worlds. It's not really important. Oh, those yeah, details. yeah. But, well, yeah, I was, yeah, I was there with, like... John Dell and shit. Anyway. Oh, that's that's interesting. Mm. Yeah, I I uh you know I know a guy that worked closely with him because it, it got purchased by EMC and then Dell bought it and then VMware got spun off and all this other shit. Oh, no, God, VMware they, they got them, like, spun off spin from EMC. Yeah. And then yeah, anyways. So Galaga left about fifteen years ago and went to Intel. And um, for a long time, Intel was doing great, right? But mm -hmm. the reason it was doing great is because the technology was... It was because Gallagher was effectively running off the setup of the past, right? Their R&D, their fabrication, everything was so well ahead of itself that Gallagher couldn't really fail. And AMD was so in the black that their stock mm -hmm. was all the way down to like three, five dollars, right? They had nothing coming out. It was shit. It was just cheap. Mm -hmm. Or Gelsinger. Sorry, not Gallagher. Whatever. It's okay. So I know what you meant. Eventually, well, fucking AMD wakes up and over the years, it slowly gets closer and closer and closer. It puts money into R&D and now look at Intel. You could sit back and be like, oh, well, they just had, you know, oh, it's because they had to shut down their plant in the Middle East. Oh, it's because, oh, the fucking, you know, bug that was in their chip. It's because of this and that. No, the real problem is that that fucking company has not been innovating for over a decade. And so now the latest talk is they're going to be replacing all of their fucking executives and bring in a new set of heads. Now, you could be like, oh, but these new people that they're bringing in, they've never worked on fucking Intel chips and computer chips and shit like that. But that's irrespective of the point because it's a fucking executive position. You don't need to know how this fucking shit works. The reason I bring up that example, Shaman, is in a odd way, the chiefs are kind of the new commissions. From, it's more of a people management position than it is yeah. a like job knowledge position. yes and it should not inherently now yeah yeah ask chief right because I, I think people are so stuck on like what a chief used to be what an ass chief used to be what the response because everyone's following some blueprint from like fucking two years ago no one's so thought about it. And you know, everyone's following shit from the past. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. You're right. It goes well beyond the PD. Even is that they're scared to try new things. Uh, it, absolutely. There is inherently nothing wrong for that top piece to simply be the political component between the people and the force. And so, 
no, I don't think that a civilian is necessarily a bad idea. Why does the chief need to go up and talk about fucking RS and PC and all this other shit? Why? Why? I mean, they, I'm going to be real. They shouldn't. That shit should be covered during PNT. Yeah. So, anyways, it's a thought. I'm not saying it's something that uh be done, but it's definitely an idea that floated through my mind. Because, like, the other option is you get a bunch of bozos that are just looking for the mock just for ulterior selfish reasons. You know what I mean? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any civilians you would think of other than Jenny who would be good in the role? I haven't super... Wait. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, my God. I feel like my pets in Los Santos might be... Rova? Getting allergies? Do you feel like you could eat a bone right now? Do I feel like I could eat a like, bone? Like, you know, like next... You know, if you, you know, when you're feeling hungry and thirsty, you kind of can tell how full you are. Okay. Yeah. You mean like, you don't do, see do like I, a bone, do you? I don't see a bone. Oh my God. Anywhere right now. I see 206 bones. I mean, in your body. Okay. Yeah. I just, you know, I just kind of have a feeling I might have a leash somewhere. I got my pet legislation passed. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. That soon. Yeah. Oh. oh, I used to have a husky. Her name is Banshee. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. She costs so much money. She's yeah. <laughs> Chad, you are a fuck. I would love to get a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Or a cat. I don't know. I feel like I got like a bone level right now. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyways. Uh. Well, that's, that's interesting. But no, yeah. no, I don't feel, don't smell, not, not itching for a bone. Not yeah. now. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm gonna have to ask around. I don't know if it's just a me thing or like what's up. Um. Uh, yeah. I mean, have you tried resetting the eyes of fate? Uh. Let me see. No, it's I'm still feeling it. Weird. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, that's a thing. Yeah. Okay. That's got me excited. Um, but I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you either crazy or something really cool is gonna happen soon. So. Well, I, I have been talking to like you know some overseas contacts in regards to this, and you know, so it, I, I don't. So you're I, um, are you getting boned right now? Am I getting boned? Yeah, are you boned right now? Am I? Are you asking if I have a boner? No, no, no. I mean, you're the one who's talking about a bone, and I'm just wondering, you no, know, I'm it's just... like, it's, you know, it's kind of like, like, I feel like, uh, you know, I, I could feed something. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you could eat, or like you're a feeder? <laughs> um, really depends. Oh, by the way, those vehicles that you hear over there, people like to steal stuff. Um, oh, yeah. 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 There's a lot of, yeah. A lot of those. Um, I'm not surprised. Like uh, I said, let me let me work my magic over the next week or so. I don't want to put an end date on it because Siobhan, I've been okay. very... Of course. I just text. Don't. Don't, don't um, worry about it. But I am not going to throw away, I think, one of the only individuals that has the intelligence and the passion to actually push this city forward based on whatever grievances may have existed in the past, which I don't even think there was much of anything you know what i mean so i'm pretty sure that you and i probably agreed on a lot of things i mean when you came to yeah. me talk about foia i agreed with you that foia was broken yeah and yeah. that i hated the molten process you yeah. know um yeah well okay i did want to bring up one thing to you so you had asked me about like that hostage like the legislation for like the pd to prioritize hostages right yes um, I don't think that legislative, look, I try to sit down and work on this. Like I really try mm -hmm. to give it a college try. I don't think it's a legislative issue. I don't think it's something that should be legislated. Yeah. I think it is a PD issue, quite frankly, at the end of the day. Um, I, I mm. think that there's already like civil rights, like recourse to punish officers. Um, and it might, it might just be that you know, they all start taking that part of the job a lot more seriously when somebody has to pay out a big fucking money out of pocket to a hostage that they fucking got shot, you know? 
I think it's that's a, a really issue, good point. I think you're right. Um, I also think that it might just get blocked anyways. It probably would. And, you know, um, you know, take, take it from me. Um, laws do not fix problems a lot of the time. Yeah. And you yeah. can't legislate. There are some things that you could just simply you can't legislate those issues away mm. well, i learned that with the food stalls you should have seen the people you know i got taxes <laughs> passed in los santos right yeah, yeah yeah um so i have mixed feelings on that on one um you know i'll just uh, fuck it yeah just say it. Fuck it. just i'm just gonna not even try to be diplomatic uh my mixed feelings on that are purely jealousy you know i was yeah. jealous yes i've wanted that shit for years um and and you did it so i'm kind of jealous and i and i have a small amount of hatred for you but it's not real hatred it's just like wow you did the thing that i've always wanted it's more just like that i'm really happy that it yeah. exists we are we are making it optional soon yeah people are gonna be pissed though they people are gonna be it. pissed yep so i'm gonna let them know we're getting rid of it because they need to know that i at the end of the day represent them right so someone um, called me yesterday and asked what they they asked me where i can find form 1313b or whatever it is in the legislation oh yeah <laughs> it, it should it should be there yeah we did a whole thing there's a lot of let's just say the way that i explained it to my cabinet you gotta understand like some of these people have a lot of strong backgrounds like that they bring to the city so we came from let's just say postgraduate level of expectation reading level right yeah uh, not even reading level like it, it was meant to be um uh there was a lot of things we wanted to do that aren't under being understood so we need to dumb it down and that includes taxes right going out and explaining what those taxes are used for is way too much um yeah you know i um i'm not gonna lie to you but we found we found something very similar um, like the first, the first like legislation I wrote for the council, and you know, um, nobody else could fucking understand it, except for like. Wait, which Alan. one? Uh, that was actually the REIT legislation. The which one? REIT. REIT. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be like a real estate that? investment trust. Real estate investment trust. Okay. Um, it was supposed to allow Mr. K to do his rent to own program. But it was a little bit too legal jargony. Yeah. And uh, you really gotta. People do not fucking read in this city. I'm no, they you. don't. So, so even dumbing things down for them well, won't you, help because you well, can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. Well, they can't read it anyway, so it's all based on rumor. I learned that real quick. I learned, and that's how I got three x the votes to pass everything. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, right? Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's going to become optional. Um, I think that's the best way to go about it. Because there's people that want to give me money for the state. One guy wants to give me a million dollars straight. Because he's been doing toast so long, he wants to contribute back. So he said, okay, maybe let's make that avenue for donate. both. Yep. Just maybe allow people to donate. Like, you can donate to the U.S. Treasury if you want to reduce the debt. Yep. And, and that don't, that's exactly can. what we're going to do. And we're going to put legislation in for that and see if we can get a account just for it. So people can see how much is being given. And then if they want to publicize it, they uh, effectively can. So, um, I mean, anyways, I love that. I Actually, do need to run to a meeting, Siobhan. Yeah, um, me too. Um, but, one other thing, though. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have to go to the prison. I have a client. I got to go to finish a plea agreement out for um are you planning on a second term i feel like i have to because i don't know who else is going to do it i feel like you're literally just walking i hope you don't take this as an insult you sound just like max right now um yeah i uh i mean it as a compliment no i i understand um and you probably wouldn't be wrong uh in that even just seeing some of the actions he made it makes a little bit more sense why he did them so um totally but um i think my main well, difference is i actually 
don't give a fuck about the PD at this point. I, I, I do in the sense that I want these people to succeed, but I can't, there's not there's literally no action I can do to resolve it because it, it's just cooked. Yeah. Unless you got any ideas, but you know. Um, let me cook on those. Yeah. All right. We'll talk in a. Are you gonna be around tomorrow? Uh, no, but uh, Thursday. And, Thursday. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I will see you Thursday. All right. Sounds good. All right. All right, Siobhan. I appreciate it. All right. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. Yep. You know. Yep. Anytime. This was a really good chat. Yeah, it was. Do you need food or anything? Cause you're stuck here, and I have some extra. If you're... Um. Yeah, I could take some. Okay. Here you go. All right. Appreciate it. So you're going to stay here for your next meeting. Yep. And you said you had just woken up. Yep. I appreciate that. If you have any yeah, questions about whatever, I'm an open book. I don't really have a filter, so. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yep. Um, same. It gets me into trouble a lot because I can't, like, I have a habit of letting people know exactly what I'm feeling when I'm feeling it. Well, <laughs> I really I, it if I rather to. that than fucking snakes. So that's how uh, I look it at it. It feels like there's a lot of snakes, too. Oh, so. oh, it's bad. Only thing is that they move so they make a lot of noise when they're moving, so it's a, a, a pretty easy to spot. All right, I appreciate it, Shimon. Yeah, All right, my pleasure. You know, I right. talk to you later. You take care.